Dara has been in the spotlight in Syria, leaving both Greater Idlib and the ISIS terrorists in Deir Ezzor in the background. The situation is in a state of escalation following several weeks of siege warfare by the Syrian Arab Army SAA, and a subsequent settlement agreement. The settlement agreement was concluded on July 25th and came into effect on July 28th. This attempt at peace, however, failed in its entirety. Instead of the situation subsiding and calm returning to Dara, clashes took place all around. Early on July 29th, the SAA launched a military operation to enter and secure Dara al-Balad, the southern part of Dara city. In the very first hours of the attacks, SAA troops managed to secure the outskirts of Dara al-Balad. The decision to storm the area has yet to be taken. Currently, the army is shelling posts occupied by local gunmen. The SAA operation went on for one day before reports of another negotiation for a ceasefire began. Former rebels captured around 30 posts, camps, and checkpoints of the SAA in the eastern and western countryside of Dara. Syrian authorities and the former rebels reportedly agreed on a temporary ceasefire on July 30th. However, clashes kept happening in different parts of Dara, mainly in the south. More than 40 service members of the SAA were captured on July 29th in response to an army operation in Dara al-Barad. The former rebels released some of the captives on July 31st, amid reports of yet another agreement nearing. In an attempt to throw a wrench into any potential resolution, Greater Idlib's ruler, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham HTS, voiced its support for the former rebels and their cause. Led by HTS, the Idlib faction stepped up their artillery and rocket strikes on government-held areas in response to SAA shelling on the al Zawe mountain in southern Idlib and in support of Dara's former rebels. It all led to Syrian authorities giving local leaders in Dara al-Balad time until August 1st to accept a new reconciliation agreement. Under the agreement, 132 local gunmen will be expelled to opposition-held areas in northern Syria. Tight security measures would also be implemented in Dara al-Balad. Instead of an end to hostilities, the Greater Idlib factions renewed their attacks on August 1st in support of the Dara rebels, and little was achieved. August 2nd saw a meeting between officers of the Russian military police, the Syrian Minister of Defense, and representatives of the former rebels that took place in the stadium in the center of Dara. On the same day, the rebels' central committee in Dara rejected the demands of the SAA to hand over their weapons and allow Syrian troops to enter the military checkpoints in Dara al-Balad. Clashes are continuing all around Dara, and especially in the south of the city. It appears that no form of resolution is anywhere near.